circle. No sparrow's wing so silent. No kraken's ink so dark. The light of reason from the forge of Vulcan shines before you this day. I bring you tidings of joy, for he is Eldritch! <laughs> Majesty, if I can squeeze in. Hello. <laughs> I am Chandra Mega Hunter, Countess and member of the Order of the World, and I am pleased to speak for this panel. Artistic tendencies and swordsmanship, these are paired together as a hand and a glove. The period swordmasters believe strongly in proportion geometry, and line. Eldritch, too, through his beautiful painted silk banners, is a master of proportion, geometry, and line. And two, his fencing style is about the angle of attack, a proportionate response, and a strong, direct line. His fighting is intensely practical, and it is intensely beautiful. He has one foot on the artistic path solid enough for any laurel to say, this man is my peer. Is there a member of the Order of Chivalry that would speak? Your Majesty. Your Grace. I am Brendan McFergus. Knight of the Society, Duke of the East, your man, and I would request that privilege. Absolutely. <laughs> Being a knight is about Tuesdays. <laughs> <laughs> it is easy to be a knight on Saturday. <laughs> it is hard to be a knight on Tuesdays. There is nothing I could ask of a knight on a Tuesday that I could not ask of Eldritch. <laughs> the process of speakers in our period ceremony, the Kalantiri Rite, is about telling the crown and the kingdom about the impact the candidate has had outside of their sphere. For me, as both a knight and a father, Eldritch reached way out of his sphere to lift up my daughter when she needed help on a Tuesday. <laughs> this man is absolutely my peer, Your Majesty, and I thank you for what you do today. of the Order of the Rose that would speak for this candidate. Your Majesty, I have that right and honor and privilege. Hi, I am Duchess Keelan. You might know me from earlier in this, in this uh, court. And I am going to speak on behalf of the Order of the Rose for Eldritch. It is very, very rare within this society to find a person 
who will look at what they've known their entire skating career, turn sideways, turn their head sideways a little bit and go, maybe I was wrong. And then venture into a different world and go, you know what? I think maybe I think I was wrong. And Elders did just that. And that was one of my first interactions with him. I was running the Southern Army, Southern Arabia Army. And he and I were talking and he said, you know, I don't think I like I don't think I like melee. And then he came back to me a little while later and he said, I think maybe I was told I don't like melee. <laughs> Tucker, the Order of Defense, and I would speak for Eldridge. Today, I would speak as community. For it is community that Eldridge both embodies and upholds. He's been a fixture in my idea of defense community for as long as I have been involved. He is one of the first that I introduce newcomers to because I know he will enrich their experience through quality fencing, quality advice, and quality fellowship. Eldridge strives at all times to create a welcoming and inclusive space for any and everyone where they can thrive. 
and importantly, he holds the community accountable for its shortcomings so that it might be better. Eldritch is integral to the larger Francis community, and I am beyond thrilled to see him join this subset. See, because I know he will continue to do great things, and I know we will be effective. And I know we will be better for his inclusion. Your Majesty, there's a great thing you do today, for he is here. Thank you. support from all of the peerages. Let's be joined by the order. His Majesty calls the order of defense to bear witness. <laughs> Fully supported and with his assertion, I would add Eldritch to your order. Is there a medallion? Several. <laughs> Caster household Medallions aren't collars, they're different. <laughs> Is there a cloak? Who made the cloak? So charging and commanding, I would cast these gauntlets before you and charge you to take them up as your duty as a member of the Master of Defense. I accept these charges and will do as diligent as I ever might to serve that role. As a knight, and your peer, hearing your acceptance and looking at this community, I would strike you and welcome you as a peer. Is this your wish? I accept it. We have spoken and are of one mind on this. That is it. <laughs> <laughs> One shot, and that was a master of defense. <laughs> what? You're fine wherever you are. I swear that you will have my words of counsel and my sword. They both may sting, hopefully only when they, when they need to. Um, and may they forever be guided as they have always been. Out of love for this community uh, and for this people. For my part, I, Tyndall, King of the East, can hear your heart in your words and know that you have our ear for your counsel, whether we ask for it or not. For the sting of unasked for counsel is often more necessary. We rely upon your arm and your clear mastery of defense. And for our part, you have the protection of our house, 
the warmth of our hearth until these crowns shall pass from our head for the world in the supreme fire. Attend all who may read, hear, or see these words of their most royal majesties, Tyndall and Emerson. Okay, we'll be there in a minute. King and King Consort of the East and the Sovereigns in Tiramara and all those baronies and shires within our lands as they sit in their resplendence and state with great majesty. It is right and pleasing to us that our faithful subjects, both base and noble, do train in the arts of war. Though we know each subject does do their duty, it is met from time to time that we should single out for acclaim and commendation those of our subjects who do demonstrate both devotion and aptitude and the experience of this art studying with our masters of combat and play fighting, favoring and furthering any one which is endued with good quality, who may fight earnestly, and who may serve as tutor in the skill and the art of guns and of weapons. Rightly, therefore, do we summon into our presence our most skilled and noble, Eldridge Guyman, and further do we call forth those members of our company of the Order of Defense here present, as well as whichever witnesses who would testify to his great prowess and noble character, 